In 2019, chronic viral infections can still cause a large burden of disease, so we decided to change it. Cytomegalovirus is a virus that is extremely common and infects about 80% of the population by the age of 40. Most of us do not realise we're infected because if our immune system is working, we're dealing with the virus just fine. When our immune system is not working, then the virus starts causing an enormous degree of problems. In transplant, for example, both in solid organs and bone marrow transplantation, cytomegalovirus infection is really the major infectious complication. Our studies um, have really changed the way that we think about how we need to deal with these viral infections. We were really excited when we found that the virus presents in different strains. And if you match the antibodies to the infectious strain of virus, then you can get excellent protection. That gives us new insights about how viruses interact with our immune systems and importantly paves the way in telling us what are the critical component of new therapies that we need to exploit to get maximum benefit into patients. HIV still infects approximately 36 million people worldwide and of those people 1.8 million are children so it's still a large global burden of disease. Although we've had success with treating HIV long term, there are still almost 1 million deaths per year. So the work that we do at Monash is that we take two major fields and bring them together. Immune memory, uh, how we form immunity, and epigenetics, which is looking at the molecular codes within cells. And we're hoping by linking those two pathways, we have a unique direction that will lead us to new therapeutics. What is exciting about this research is the potential for global impact. And we've recently had a really exciting result in the lab where we've found that if we target one of these molecular regulators, the immune system is able to clear these chronic viral infections, which means that we can potentially target this molecular regulator with a drug. We can potentially translate this finding into treatments for patients, ultimately saving lives.